Hello! It is um, the evening of Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. Um, so day four of, I think, cycle four, potentially day five. Day five. Day five of cycle four. Um, boy, like time flies. Um, yeah, this is a pretty challenging uh, few days. And I, um, this, I think, I, and I probably said this like, um, more frequently recently, um, this is like the longest I think amount of time that um, I've I've taken between um, recording videos, and I think a lot of that has to do with just um, being present, uh, really present with what's been going on, and just going sort of with what I need to do for myself. Um, you know, the accumulative effects of the chemo. Are definitely being felt. I um, have uh, been more tired. Um, I'm still um, losing hair, and um, I think yeah, the fatigue is a big thing. And you know, as there are more chemo treatments, then things add up, and uh, things change. And um, and I think that a lot just rather than sort of pushing myself to do things that I feel like I quote unquote like need to do. I think um, I've been more um, like more mindful about like what I just need for myself. So if I need to just um, rest um, and not push myself to do things that I feel like I need to do, I think that's sort of where I've been at this week. I think the biggest thing um, that I've been just managing for this round is, or the cycle, is that um, they've decided, um, I spoke to my oncologist last week before this cycle and told him about um, the, uh, the, the, the fatigue that I've been feeling and they decided to add the hydration therapy to um, my regimen, which means that there is now a home care nurse that's coming to our place um, for three days following the disconnection of the 5FU pump that I wear for 46 hours after I go to the hospital. And uh, they administer um, the saline drip for four hours um, on three days following um, the chemo. So, um, so effectively, it's been... Um, the five hours in the hospital on Friday, and then um, I'm, I'm attached to a pump for 46 hours. I got detached on Sunday, but somebody came to our house, uh, a nurse, um, a home care nurse, has come to our house to disconnect. And then at the same time, she will connect me to a um, IV that um, an IV bag that I'm attached to for four hours, um, and that she showed me how to disconnect myself from the IV once that's done so she didn't necessarily have to come back that night um, the next day it was the same thing so um, so Sunday was the first day that I did the hydration therapy um, and like I mentioned like I uh, she showed me how to disconnect myself from the IV so she didn't have to come back so that was okay but then on uh, Monday morning she came um, and she's, I, I guess they're very, very busy. So, um, there isn't like a specific, there's, there's kind of like a window of time, but it's, um, kind of have to uh, figure out and wait around, um, when she's able to get here and she connected me on, uh, Monday. And so I was connected to the IV for about four hours after that. And again, um, she showed me how to disconnect, so she didn't have to come back, but I was connected to this IV bag for four hours and it's on a pole and it's, uh, it's connected to a heavy pump. So I don't have a lot of movement or mobility and I, you know, have to stay home during that time. And, um, and then today, Tuesday, um, she had come by in the morning and connected me, but I had an, a call that was supposed to be scheduled at two o'clock, and she told me that she'll be by about one, but she ended up coming at one fifty-five because she had to disconnect me, and then to kind of take me off the um, the because it was going through my porta calf, she had to disconnect me from that and all that. So there was just a lot of managing schedules, and that was tiresome. Um, and it's it's sort of like you know with COVID and everything that's going on and. Um, you know, having like somebody in the house that's new and 
and um, it was just a lot to manage um, these last four days. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I think the hydration therapy was helpful. Um, I'll see um, like sort of like the long term effects, but it was it's also like um, kind of like balancing that out with um, the amount of um, sort of managing schedules because it felt like um, it's been like five days of like dealing with um, stuff. Um, but I know that the hydration is good for me, um, and I think that um, it's maybe helping to flush out the the chemo. A little faster that way I'm not losing as much hair currently but still it's going and I'm um, noticing some discoloration in my in my nails and stuff like that my fingers and my toes and so that's something that I'm um, I've noticed this time around that I'm trying to figure out how to manage but that's where I'm at um, but yeah like tiring um, and been tired and it just noticed today, like, you know, looking at the time and it's like, or, or the, or the date and it's like the 15th already. That's like 10 days before Christmas. And I like, I don't like, it doesn't feel, you know, Christmassy or like, I feel like I'm not, um, not that like we would, we do like big Christmases, uh, between Joe and I, like we don't have family here and stuff, but, um, it's just, um, yeah, it's 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 sort of remarkable to me that there is like ten days left until Christmas, and um, yeah, like t and technically, if we were to be going uh, by schedule, um, I would have done like, and if it wasn't Christmas, it was just another date. Like it, we I would have had my next chemo treatment actually on the twenty fifth, but I think the hospital is closed on the twenty fifth and twenty sixth for chemo, so. Um, um, it's it's been pushed back to the 28th next time around and um, I do also have a CT scan um, that's coming up this Friday just to see um, how um, things are going um, so I'm pretty nervous about that it's at 8 o'clock in the evening that I have to go back to the hospital on Friday um, to get the CT scan I guess um, you know I'll hear um, about uh, the results the next the following week so there's there's some nervousness around that, I mean, understandably. Um, so that's all that's happening. Um, yeah, um, and I think I just also want to mention that um, my very you know good friend Akiko, who's been like phenomenal, like she's just been a complete rock, um, and and a and the most amazing person and friend that I think anyone really honestly, um, could ask for and have. Um, she's been self-isolating for the last couple of weeks so she could spend a little bit of time with me this week. She'd done that like, you know, a month ago, um, after my, my, my month, a month and a half ago now, I guess, after my first cycle. Um, and, uh, she spent some time with me yesterday and, uh, we'll have another couple days, um, this week, um, which I'm, I'm completely grateful for because I realize, you know, um, spending some time with her that it's been like months and months and months before I've really really been able to sit down and like talk to anybody apart from Joe I mean I think that like there's literally been like two or three people outside of um, outside of Joe um, in the last like few months um, maybe like uh, maybe a handful of people where I've been able to like sit down and have like some kind of a conversation with them um, in person um, and that's just felt so so weird and but um, yeah the fact that that hasn't happened in almost a year and um, that 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 she has been she, she would you know take the time to self-isolate and and for us to be able to spend the time that um, we're spending it's 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 such an amer amazing gift um, so that's uh, that's been my last few days um, I hope, um, and, and I'll just actually keep it short because I'm just, um, yeah, it's actually like <laughs> still kind of, uh, I'm still very tired actually. Um, and, um, I know that this is a tough time for so many people in so many different ways and we're all dealing with our own, you know, our own stories, our own lives and, and different things that are happening 
And whether it's uh, COVID related, whether it's just life related, whether it's, you know, so many different things that um, we could be experiencing at any given time. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it all, or I'm, I'm trying to know and um, feel that like you watching this might be going through something in your own lives. And I have so much so much love and care for you and um, I hope you're taking good care and I'm trying to do the best over here as well and um, yeah um, love and care to you and please um, you know <laughs> repeat this over and over again but um, to let the people in your life that you know and love that um, you cherish them and that you love and care for them and um, and, and thank you you know, for your continued support for my journey and my story. And um, I know that uh, there's been some breaks and some, some gaps between my videos, but um, I'm doing my best on this end to um, um, be the best that I can be on my end. Um, and sometimes that means uh, taking some breaks. But um, again, like, thank you for following along. And uh, when I'm having some more energy, which I'm um, hoping that that would happen in the next few days. Uh, I hope that um, I'll have um, more substantive and, and more, um, uh, just some more recordings as we go along. But um, thinking about you and sending lo out love and care. And um, yeah, take good care and I'll talk to you real soon.